Human struggle meets the dramatic stage. We're here at the Maryland I. Walker School of Fine and Performing Arts to find out more about Radium Girls. Grace, for Christ's sake, you got one lawyer working for nothing up against six lawyers who are getting a bundle. And you think you got a chance? Radium Girls follows a tragic true story of New Jersey workers who were exposed to large quantities of radium while working at a paint factory in the 1920s. Close to a century later, the underlying themes of corporate greed and women looking for safety and equity in the workplace are still relevant today. Out of nowhere, girls start getting sick in the factory and it starts to get more epic and girls begin to die. And it just kind of tells the story between CEO corporations versus the working man, like the guy who's actually working there. And I find it really interesting, um, the dichotomy between the two, and it's they both parties think that they're doing the right thing and they're doing what's right for them and for the greater good. And it, it's such a human play in that way because we see the struggle of not just the girls and it's not just like a sob story for the girls, but it's a true struggle for every single person in the play. Yeah, definitely out of the three characters I play in the show, Tom is definitely the hardest for me. Um, just because he, he wants what's best for Grace, but he also really more wants what, to, just to get married and Grace just won't give him that. So the play is just this journey for him of him just trying to get married with Grace and, the, and him just, her, just constantly getting shut down. And finally, what you just saw was the breakup. Toronto director Philip McKee was brought on board after the play was cast to finally bring Radium Girls to the stage. So it feels like a real privilege to be in this building with these uh, lovely young people um, uh, working on a, on a kind of meaningful text. So the thing that I feel like I'm really a broker, broken record uh, on is uh, asking the students to just speak in their own voice. It's, you know, it's the, the hardest and the easiest thing to say to an actor because um, you're asking them to be natural under unnatural circumstances. So I'm always just saying, uh, be yourself, let the character come to the audience through your own personality and speak in your own voice. Uh, Philip's just a fantastic director too. I've never worked with someone with his style and I love every single moment. He, he really breaks down like your method as an actor and he just does a fantastic job of getting across what needs to get across on stage. Yeah, going off what you said, there's a real fulfillment when you finish these big projects, and especially if you're doing it independently. I've, I'm really proud of this project and also all the other projects I'm doing because I'm working with a great group of people and it, I'm, I'm, do, I'm putting something in it as well and I, I find that very fulfilling. Tickets are available at the First Ontario Performing Arts Box Office Centre. Reporting from St. Catharines, in the source, this is Akwesi Batsu.